I thought Ashy was going to die. <laughs> someone wedged Ashy, someone wedged Ashy, and then pulled it over his neck. <laughs> but it didn't rip. So literally, it was like choking him out, mate. Like he was like, and he's genuinely like the panic in his head. He thought he was going to die. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Rugby Pass Offload podcast with Ryan Wilson, Max Laheef and the drop goal hero himself, friend of the show, often co-presenter, now Prem champion, Freddie Burns, top off. Hero. How Max, are you feeling, I'm gonna Freddie? I've got to be honest, I just got out of the shower. I woke up about 10 minutes ago, got off the shower. Mate, you're looking right. Right <laughs> on the rolls. You're looking cut to shreds. Mate, honestly, right. we still went to Japan, mate. I lost a bit, lost a bit of timber, didn't I? Yeah, very good. We're gonna put it all back on, mate, in the next week or two. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, mate, how's it been? Has it been a been a few nights on on it, mate? Do you know what? I was trying to explain it to um, my brother yesterday. He's like. Boy, it's been class, right? It's been loose. But I tell you more than anything, it's just like, you're just like relieved. Like you have that, you know, like some of the, I almost feel like some of the end of season socials are so loose because like, you're not because you're making up for like not making it, but you're kind of like, fuck, well, we've been a shit season. We've lost like a load of games. We didn't make the top four. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> we've been in the basement. We're in, we're in the Challenge Cup again next year or whatever. Like, oh, here we go again. Whereas this year, it's just like, sit back, just, boys, just drink it, enjoy it. But, it's been, uh, well, it's been a good few days, a couple of days with the boys, dinner last night um, with the missus to make up for being AWOL for, um, <laughs> for 48 hours. And now I'm just about to drag her to the pub with me to the boys at 12.30. God, my missus wouldn't have seen me for a week, I tell you. Well, mate, I, to be fair, I just got drunk in the ship on Sunday and then just got a taxi to her house in St. Albans. And I said I was going to climb down the chimney, but she said, don't, because that's Flat Two's chimney, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> There's a chance I would have been sat in Flat Two's <laughs> chimney, mate, with some bloke just, <laughs> just there. Um, no, mate, so it's been, mate, it's one of them, isn't it? It's just, it's, it's a funny one, because, like, what you think it is, in it, and, like, what it actually is sometimes is a bit different. And it has been that, mate. It's been unbelievable, but it's just, like, you just sit there, mate, and just drink it in. It's just... It's yeah, but... Sweet, what sweet. did you mean by relieved? Like, what do you mean? Like, you're just... Well, the pressure's off, eh? Hey? Well, like, I'll tell you what it is, like, we had, yeah, it is, the pressure's off, right? We had a, you know how it is, Max, we had an unbelievable start to the season, right? That no yeah. one saw coming, and everyone starts going, Jesus, Leicester, like, flying, having a good year, and you're like, yeah, you know what? Like, we're proving a few people wrong. And then suddenly, with, like, three, four weeks left of the season, it's like, well, you've got to deliver something for it now. No one's going to, like, remember. And then the weirdest feeling on Thursday, so uh, I think it was, like, Wednesday, Genji put a message on the group just being like, lads, just so you know, um, Sunday will be double denim. We'll, we'll, we'll have end of season social, win or lose, we'll have end of season social, double denim, right? Obviously, because everyone's got a couple of denim shirts and denim trousers, haven't they? So it was, like, not too much to think about. But you're packing your bag for the final, mate. And you're packing like this double denim and like, you know, you're getting your bag ready and you're thinking, right, what do I need to wear after the game? And you're thinking, right, but if we, if we win, it's going to be the best ever. I'm going to be honest, mate, if we lost, I'd, like, I would have gone for a few beers with the boys, but it would have been like terrible, especially if we'd lost in that, in the way that at the weekend when we kind of felt like we we're in such control, mate, it would have been devastating. So it's a weird old, um, it's a weird old feeling, mate. It's just good to sit there on Sunday, mate. I sat on the bus down to London with Coley, just having a good old chat and a pint of vodka Red Bull. Um, and it was, uh, mate, it was good times. Sam, we've done it. We've done it. We've completed it, boys. Mate. Yeah, so Fred, when I saw you sink that uh, drop goal, the drop goal, it was your face. I was just like, oh my God, look at this man. He's in, he's like in ecstasy and euphoria, like freaking out. You could just see the... You could see like how excited you were. I was like, "Is he? Is he about to cry with, with like how happy?" He is? But then you were like, you had to like recall yourself. You were like, "Oh shit, we've got to exit." Right, right. exit. And, then, and then this, and then everybody think, think. I'm not thinking, but everybody else think. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've, I've never seen you like that before. It was so funny. Oh, right, I was you. so chuffed for you, though. Thanks, mate. I, I really appreciate uh, it. You just, but it is one of those things, mate. You just, 
You don't know what you've done, mate. I looked up at the balls, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yes, like, yes. And then I run back, and then I see there's 20 seconds left on the clock, and I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> head on, get your head on. And then the final, mate, you just you, you don't know, you don't know what to do, mate. But I think for me, like. There's been there's been so much like there's been so much around the club this year with with Tiffany Young's passing recently and obviously the battle that she went through with Tommy you know you see Kev with Rob Burrows you know there's been a lot in the we've we've had a lot in the camp you know one of the um one of the ground staff lost his lost his baby daughter in the middle of the year all that sort of stuff mate so the club has been it felt like this year every few months there was there was some sort of bad news sort of hitting or you know a, a reality check hitting. So, mate, mm. so honestly, to walk back in, so we went back to Welford Road after the game on Saturday, mate, to walk through those doors and see all the staff from that behind the scenes at, at Welford Road and just what it meant to them, mate, honestly. And, like, for me, as soon as the final whistle went, boys, I went mental. I shook a couple of players' hands, and then straight away I was just like, i got to see my family. So I ran straight to the side, jumped over the barrier, did the old Wimbledon, then I, mate, ran up, <laughs> ran up. And I just looked, mate, and there's my brothers, my bu- so Bill didn't make it over, but my brother Sam and Jack, um, Jack's fiance and my girlfriend, and then my mum and dad, and I got to give them all a hug, and they're all blooming like bawling in tears, mate. And don't get wrong, I love the fact that I've had this moment for myself, mate, because I feel like I've worked hard, I've been through a bit of shit in my time, and I, and I've you know to have this moment, mate, to give it to give them the moment, you know, and let them have it is, mate, honestly, unbelievable, unbelievable. Oh, how good. Freddie, like, ha- let's let's take it around. You know, having been sacked by Leicester over Hernandez, then you had you know pretty awful time at Bath before going off to play Div Two in Japan last year, where you were confined to your flat and your own thoughts for the majority of it. Uh, did you ever think you'd have that like Johnny Wilkinson moment and actually win the prem? No, nah, mate, never. Like even even this year, like, I'm not sure I spoke about it to you guys, but I definitely had conversations in private about the fact that you know. I signed for Leicester and I go, right, they got George Ford, right? So I'm going to be second choice 10, right? That's all right. They got, and then I'm like, oh, they got a young lad, Freddie Stewart at 15. So like, you know, if they want a bit of experience, like there's a good chance that I might, you know, get a bit of game time, um, you know, at 15. So I was like, oh, I've got plenty of chance. I rock up, mate. The two best players in the team this year have been the 10 and the fucking fullback, mate. So I've just been <laughs> sat there laughing all year. You know what I mean? So even then, and like, I was fully prepared. I was fully prepared on Saturday Obviously, I had a good run in the semi-final and stuff like that. And, and back in the Six Nations period, I was like, look, no matter what happens today, whether I get on for 30 seconds or 30 minutes, like you contributed to the team getting, you know, where it's got and, and, and contributed to the success of it. So come on, mate. Obviously, as early as I had to. Um, and to have that moment, right. it's just ridiculous. But hold on a minute, because I know when you know when you're on the bench and you're like, I've had this. Yeah, you're on the bench, and <laughs> and it's like he goes down at 25 minutes. You're like, oh shit, please get up. It's a weird feeling. I don't know why. Like people don't won't understand that unless yeah. they're playing rugby. You're like, do you think you'd be like, yeah, fuck, get me on, get me on? But actually, were you a little bit like, oh shit? But yeah, 100. percent I was like, uh, you know, yeah. um, Alan Ward is the the. Um, Head of performance looked at me and he was like, he was like, Wernsey, like, get ready, like this, like, as in, and I was going, I was sat there with a can of Red Bull, man, going, nah, I'll be all right, mate, I'll be all right. Yeah. He's like, no, no, get up. And I'm like, nah, <laughs> I had a swing of Red Bull. He's like, mate, he's, he's done his ankle, he's coming off. And I'm like, off, oh, off. Oh. And then, like, the camera's yeah. in your face and you're just sort of paroling. And everyone was coming up to me, mate, right? And, like, to be fair, Ben Young's, mate, obviously, a real good mate of mine as well. He was just like, mate, this is why we brought you back. Like, this is your your time, mate. Like, even before I went on. And the worst was the hardest one was we come on and we went all right up to half time. And we're buzzing at half time, right? And everyone keep coaches and that keep coming up to me, just being like, mate, just remain calm, just remain calm. You know, you do that thing. <laughs> I, am fucking, I am fucking calm. I am fucking calm. I am fucking calm. I am like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's like it's like when a, when you like when someone yeah. gets upset and then someone goes, oh, like. You're gonna, you're on. You're gonna cry. You're going. No, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Everyone's coming up to you, going, "Stay calm, mate. Stay calm." I'm like, "Fucking leave me, leave me alone." And then Kev, Kev Sinfield, mate, at half time. I'll never forget it. Now I was walking out for the second half, and he just, I me and Kevin got a good relationship. He's got a good relationship with everyone, but uh, we had some good, good chats this year. He turned around to me and he went, "Mate, 
I'm not sure if he meant it quite in this way that it ended up happening, but he just sat around and went, mate, you're right, Boot will win this for us today. That's all he said. Oh, really? I thought, I thought, because I would have said to you, don't fuck this up. Yeah, no, I, was, <laughs> I said it to myself, mate. We obviously stayed in the kick battle for a bit, and I, mate, I had the worst cramp, mate, honestly. Like, I'm seeing you. Mate, so basically, I've got, when I start, when I started those games in autumn, we pulled it, we had a little protocol of like not kicking too much in the warm up, staying relaxed, mate. But of course, I'm on the bench. I played 75 minutes the week before. There's no chance I'm going on early again, mate. So, like, sun's out. I'm there, t shirt on at Twickenham, kicking a load of penalties before the game. Do you know what I mean? Showing off, trying to just remember, <laughs> just trying to like get myself on the pitch for two minutes, show Steve that I'm on it. Do you know what I mean? Like, doing fucking sprints, press ups in the warm up. And then I went on and obviously it just fucked the protocol, mate. And I was there struggling to um, struggling to see the game out. So the socks were down around the ankles, mate. And uh, I knew, I knew I had, I knew there'd be one, potentially one big kick to win it. And uh, mate, what a shin. The best shin of my did life. You, <laughs> did you know you, did you know you had the advantage? Did we have advantage? <laughs> 100%, they were miles offside. Oh, Barnsley gives oh, it the I'm, old advantage. There you are. They say you didn't. I'll be honest with you. I thought they were going to ping Marrow for not rolling away in the tackle. Yeah, that's why. And as well. but even then, I was just like screaming for Ben Jones to pass me the ball just so I had two shots in case I fucked the first one up. <laughs> <laughs> just the practice. Yeah, get the sights in. <laughs> this is a freebie. This is a freebie. Give it me. And then, but mate, also one thing I'll say is like I've had the I've had the I've had the joy of it being you know a lot about the drop goal and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, boys, I will milk it till the day I die, mate. I'll be doing <laughs> after dinner speakers, mate, everything. You, you give me a kick on it, mate, I'll do it, right? However, however, mate, the boys were class all year, but that last passage of play, the ability that we had to stay in the kick battle the way we did, to get, like, people booing Ben Youngs when he puts it up and then Chez gets it back. But two things, mate, that I think if you watch it back, you'll see. Firstly, Ben Youngs' innate ability, without me even having to guide the team from behind, just knowing where to put the boys. So, it, like, didn't work us around the corner. We just sort of went, just got us in a good position. But then the second one, mate, Jasper Viso, who was unbelievable all day. There's the moment before he's carried the ruck before. If you watch it back, he looks at Lenny and he just nods his head. He literally, he, like, you'd think in a final, he'd be like, give me the ball, give me the ball. But he literally just looks at him, nods his head, I think it's Jamie George, he bumps to the ground, carries into Marrow, takes Marrow back five metres. And then that's the moment then where you go, right, that's that. If he gets, if he gets the ball and gets stopped Hot dead, yeah. like, it's a whole different kick, mate. But suddenly he gets, makes five yards. Front foot, yeah. was, you know, honestly, mate, like these boys are un unbelievable, mate. There's so many moments in it. Oh yeah, mate. Fuck oh, off. It's all about you, mate. It's all about you. It's all about you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll cut that whole bit out. Is it, is it, all of that. Is it? No, I like that. Hey, you wouldn't have thought that from my social media. Didn't think yeah. there we'd have a bloke at the field at some point. Yeah. And then all the boys are like, please, Fred, let us just have the cup just for one minute. He's got it down the road with his double yeah. denims. Mate, I blocked that, I blocked that McDonald's drive through mate, in Market Arbor at three in the morning because I sat on the trophy in the middle having a burger. <laughs> But so this, this is what we want to hear more about the piss up less about yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to ask one more question I was to ask one question you know when you're queuing up for a drop goal in that in that situation what were you thinking were you just like I'm having this or were you getting a bit weird no I was thinking I was thinking in my head I was thinking I'll chip it over the top mate catch it one handed front flip yeah classic pretty <laughs> bird <laughs> I mean, I was, I'll be honest with you I was looking for any other I was looking for every other option mate I was looking for every other no, really, you were like, no, but we actually, if you watch it back, generally, we had a bit of momentum. And yeah. it was the first time in the game we actually pulled the ball out the back a little bit and tried to, like, you know, work That's around a it a little bit. But, yeah, no, mate, I was, I was looking because you want momentum first and foremost. I always think if you, like, and also I'll never drop to the pocket early because you know then that, like, you're almost giving, your, giving the game away. So I'd always stay quite flat and then drop Yeah. later. Yeah. Um, but mate, like honestly, I, I've got to say as well. And I, without we'll get onto the piss now and stuff like that. But like the coaches, mate, honestly. So we had the game plan they instilled in us was like genius. Like no one gave us a shot, but we were like, we, we, we're not gonna, we're not gonna give them anything to hit. So we just kicked everything, mate. 
we said in the week, we don't care whether it's the most boring final people have ever watched because we've kicked it so much. Like the Jasper Visa try was a set play that Wiggy brought in on Thursday. Yeah, was that the one where Genge, yeah, Genge cares yeah, and Genge, it usually yeah. the left, it's gone down the short side. You can yeah, tell so exactly that. Is, that was brilliant. Yeah, so basically Steve apparently had gone to Wiggy and gone like that. Um, I want I, I want something different that potentially like changes the game. And they the coaches had analysed that what happens is normally on if they get a penalty on that 15 metre channel, most of the best defenders who want to make a tackle stand towards the post. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the obviously the people who don't stand probably more towards the touchline. So people we, like me and you will hide the other side. <laughs> mate, I'm out. I mean, you and Leif would it, mate. I'd be I mean, I'll be I'll be in the backfield five meters out, mate, on the dead ball lock. Um, but mate, yeah, and so Genji taps it like he's gonna go infield and then turns and goes outfield, but also all the boys were stacked towards the post, and then you asked yeah. to around the corner, mate. And honestly, like when you get that, like when when you practice things like that, mate, and eventually you get that moment, and like those boys do it, and also yeah. Like the cool mate, like I'm there going, I'm preparing myself to take that kick of goal. And then Genji just looks at me, he's like, no, mate, like I think he calls like Rhino. So he's like, mate, Rhino, Rhino. And I'm like, fuck yeah, Rhino. Boom, two phases, score, mate. You're like, here we go. That's why everyone was getting around Wiggy. So Wiggy made that move. Yeah, that's why everyone was getting around him. I was like, what? Jasper's the one who ran that over. <laughs> <laughs> everyone was getting around him. I was like, fair play. I think as well, mate. I think the what makes it what makes it more special as well is beating a team like that. Like that Sarri's team were unbelievable, mate. Like even he, like he, you saw him announce the team the day before, and you're just going, "This is a proper proper team." That is, mate. Like that is a lot of big name boys. So and and credit to them. Those lads after the game were were, were top class. Like honestly, top class. Like you could forgive them for being. Um, a certain way, mate, but they are generally top, they were top class boys, mate. I, I couldn't give a fuck, I was pissed anyway, but they were they were class with it. Do you know what I mean? No, mate, the, the bus journey back, mate. I tell you what, we've got some young boys at our team like JVP, Chesham, Jimmy Whitcomb, Freddie Stewart. Um, who I said, like, just like they are massive, like, football fans, like Leeds and Nor Norwich fans, mate. They were coming up with some songs on that bus. They were saying about oh, Wiggy. Wiggy's won the prem again. Looking back on where we first met, like all this, <laughs> all this, you know, they did that Liverpool song. They did that Liverpool song. Um, Ale Ale Ale, and I can't remember the song. They were like, they were like um, they went, so like, Scotty got a yellow, and Burnsy fixed it all. From Exeter to Sale, we won it fucking all. Ale Ale Ale, and mate. But like these songs, hello, are bad, mate, and I'm sat at the back with the old boys, thinking like this is genius. They were on fire for the three hours back, mate. It was, it was class. But man, I woke up with that trophy, and fuck me, did it stink? Oh, God. <laughs> how did you end up with a trophy, by the way? I just took it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love it. Like, well, I, like, do you know what I mean? Everyone else would be like, let's have a photo. No, 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 boys. <laughs> I, I just like the trophy, girl. Piss off. Nah, I was like that. I just, um, it was getting towards the end of the night. It must have been like two in the morning or something. And a lot of people had gone. And it was just sat there. And I was like, taxi was coming. I was just like, just put it under my arm, mate. Took it home. The, the panic from like the team manager on the on the WhatsApp group. Has anyone seen the trophy? Has anyone seen the trophy? I just put a picture of me, a can of Thatcher's at the trophy, right? And then it was double denim. So I've woken up. I've had I've had about three cold chicken nuggets and about four pints of Thatchers on my Instagram live, like in my boxes. And then I'm like, oh hang on, I've got to get to Welford Road. Like it's like a 45 minute taxi. I thought I can't do that. I can't lick the window all the way into the to, in, all the way into Welford Road for 45 minutes. So I was like, oh, I'll get the train. So I put double denim on, right? I said it on my Instagram as well, mate. Lob the trophy over my shoulder. Walk 20 minutes down through the centre of Market Arbor, mate. People, like, there was a peloton or whatever you call it, of, of bikers, about 20 of them. Zoom past, did a U-turn, zoom back, had a photo with it, mate. Like, <laughs> and then, <laughs> mate, honestly, and then, like, people, like, beeping their horns and that. Mate, it's heavy as well. I get to Market Arbor train station. There's about 15 Tigers fans outside. So I let them all have the trophy, have a photo, walk into the train, into the train station. These three lads come with me. 
I'm like having it, mate, chatting today. I'm like legends. I'm having a beer, all that sort of stuff. We're talking about the game. Train comes. I get on the train. They get on the train, right? Sam. So, like, they're sat with me. Like, we're all chatting away. Like, the train pulls up in Leicester. And I just go, oh, right. I said, oh, so what's, what's the plan today? What have, you got, what have you got going on in Leicester? And the kid went, oh, no, nothing, mate. We just wanted to get the train in with you. So, I got off. They got <laughs> up over the steps, down the other side. got the next train back to Market Arbor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's oh, really good. Oh, what have we told you about Instagram Live, mate? You can't, you can't do it. No, it's in my blood. It's in my blood. Can't do it. I love it. <laughs> no, I, oh, I like it. it. The worst bit is as well. You know what it's like as well. It's I'm one of those blokes. Well, I, you know when you hate it when you like, you know, you 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 message someone and they don't oh, reply, but they're on Instagram. That 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 was me to my girlfriend over that forty eight hours, mate. Like. Oh. That's all right, though. Hey, this she'll understand. Know, she'll be... No, the women in rugby, they understand this. It's, uh, you know, it always she's happens. Been, she's been, she's honestly, genuinely, I think <laughs> good as gold, mate. Good as gold. Oh. So, so we're going on holiday this week, mate, later in the week, and we're just going to... Where are you going? Burns, but Burnsy, you're a fucking hero. She has to be right with it. You're the hero. You are... The mate, honestly, she's been, more, she's been more than the right of it, mate. I'll tell you what, if the shoe was on the other foot, I'd be blooming, I'd be blooming, fuming. More importantly, what's on today? Um, well, like the boys are at the pub. It's a 12.30 meet, so I've got a minute to wrap this up. And no, I'm just, it's just, I think it's more of a casual one today. I think uh, we're just going to just try and drag it out. And then tomorrow I'm going back to Bath. The little brother's over. So I've got a family barbecue to celebrate with them. And I think that'll be, what, what's that mean? That'll be day four or five on it, mate. So I might give yes. myself Thursday off and then I'll get on that flight on Friday and get those little tiny bottles of vodka and that and do them through my eye, mate, just for the crack. <laughs> my ball, Paul. My ball, Paul, yeah. um, All I want to do is do it. Mate, exactly, <laughs> mate. Um, but I've been, I'm in a state of shock, mate. I'm still like that. Like, <coughs> just... It won't sink in. It won't sink in, I reckon, for oh, another man. few weeks. You'll be sat on all that. You'll just be like... Oh, my. Obviously, a lot's been about the drop goal, but like, there's boys in that team, like Genji. Like, I've been mates with Genji since he came to the club in 2016, mate, and like, to win it, to win it with him, like even Wiggy, you know, like people like Wiggy I played with when I know he's an old man, but when I was younger and that, and Ben Youngs, is, is, I mean, there's just so many, like we won it with such a good group of mates. Um, and like it was one on hard work as well, boys, like the boys have grafted and we've like dug ourselves out of some tight situations this year, both on and off the pitch, man. And it's like, right, just to do it with them is amazing. So I feel a bit like, I love, mate, you know me. I'll, I'll quite happily take the plaudits, mate. But honestly... <laughs> I love how you keep going back around, like... <laughs> me, 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 I don't know. Right, but yeah. Me, right, me, and, me and Chris Ashton, right, we get on real well, but we blow up at each other, both on the pitch and at training. Like, we have like to, we fall out probably at least once or twice a week in training, right? Because he just... Uh, he, as, if I score more training tries than him, he gets upset. Anyway... <laughs> Anyway, he started he started giving me shit on the Sunday, just, just being like, mate, like, it ain't about you, it ain't about you, all this. I had all I said was two words to him, mate. I just said, Ashy, you're welcome. That was all I said to him, mate. <laughs> I just kept saying, oh, said, drop goal, drop goal. Yeah. Drop goal. <laughs> I just kept saying you're welcome, mate. That was it. And he was eighteen. Oh. It was blooming. Was he was he was he loose on the piss on Sunday? Yeah, mate, like, you know it is. We, we all we all are, but I think yeah, mate, we just, oh boys, it's hard to remember, but yeah, we were just. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, so now we're starting to paint a picture here, so you can't really remember much, is that right? No, I remember, yeah, I just remember, I remember like bits and bobs, mate. Like I remember it's arriving, so cool, shit, I remember it? sitting in the corner and just drinking and watching everyone do their thing, mate, it was class. I'll tell you what it was, mate, Barry Wells, Harry Wales, the, you know, legend of a bloke, right? We had a four hour bus journey down to London, right? We stopped off to get alcohol, right? I don't know how much we had in the kitty, but obviously we had more alcohol than we knew what to do with. But you got 45 rugby lads on the thing, all starving hungry. He bought one blooming multi-pack packet of Walker's crisps for the bus journey down there. Boys literally, hour three, boys are like starving, like absolutely hammered, just making their way through a packet of prawn cocktail, mate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean like, boys, boys were fuming. People, and people getting their pants ripped up over their heads, mate. I thought Ashy was going to die. <laughs> someone wedged Ashy, someone wedged Ashy, 
and then pulled it over his neck. <laughs> but it didn't rip. So literally, it was like choking him out, mate. Like he was like, and he's genuinely like the panic in his head. He thought he was going to die. <laughs> Who did that? Who pulled that on him? Oh, mate, honestly, I, I, I honestly don't. Know. Oh, I mean, that's that's what unbelievable I was at, you know, work. I hope that was the money or someone. So when I was out uh, in Dungarees, mate, because no one could get their hand down the back to the pants, because, mate, honestly, it was far. Oh, oh, world class. It was a joke, mate. It was a joke. I love it. When you pulled up at the ship as well, did the bus take you straight to the ship? The yeah, yeah but he, he reversed yeah. up outside. And did anyone give it the old right boys act sober? Like act no. sober, was it? No, because it was dead, mate, to be fair, at the start. Oh. It was dead. So you're right. What time did you get there? Like five. Oh wow, fair play. And there, and there was a bit of rain and stuff. But to be fair, mate, I gotta say, this how good are the ship, mate? Like the bounce. We got the bus, the bounce of the ships, and they were like open arms, like boys. Like, the twins. Were yeah. the twins there? Yeah, one of them. Yeah. Like, one, one of them looks like Wayne Lineker. Is that him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, those two. <laughs> oh, those two are legends. If it wouldn't piss him down the rain in 15 degrees, I thought I was in Ocean Beach, mate, but it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fucking on it. You said that. That's what Max looks like. You look like Wayne Lineker at the moment. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, 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 yeah, but they were, uh, they, were, they, were, they were class, mate, and they let the boys. Yeah, uh, they're real good. Mate, the best was Alfie Barbary was there, right? Alfie Barbary was there steaming. And within half an hour, we've got him in a Leicester shirt, mate, walking around in a Leicester Tigers shirt. <laughs> oh, my God. Job next year. Oh, lucky boy. Did anyone go off of, um, did anyone go off script? Did anyone turn up without the double denim, do the old goody with the full kit or anything like that? Or was everyone uh, stripped? Everyone, everyone, everyone did the double denim. Um, Best dressed? Best. Anyone coming down dungarees or anything? Mate, it's hard double down a minute, really, to be best dressed. Like, actually, had bucket, this bucket hats. Yeah, there was bucket hats. Genji had a good little, like a sleeveless jacket, shorts. Oh, like a biker's jacket, yeah. But you know those caps that don't have a peak, so it's like, but it's not like a, it's not like a, uh, it's like a denim. I don't, I, mean, I don't like know. A, like a, a kipper. <laughs> Might be like, like a kipper, mate. <laughs> anyway, it looked a little bit like this. <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. A little bit like this, but it was denim. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I got a little chip bike, can I? So I bought an helmet, but I can't look. If I wear that, it looks like the top of my head's been sawn off, so I can't look. <laughs> Hold on a minute. What is, <laughs> what is that? You bought a motorbike, and that's your helmet? No, no, I got, <laughs> a, I got an electric bike. I got a Super 73 <laughs> thing, and I? <laughs> mate, that's mate, hell, man. Mate, 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 you're like, you're fucking, you know, sons of Anna, sons of Anna. Are you about to fight the Germans? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 yeah I, 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 I think it's actually got a bullet hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack's teller from Sons of Anarchy. Look at you. How bad? How <laughs> bad? I can't do it, boys. I can't do it. Hey, boys. Hey, I say one more thing. That was the second choice helmet. It was the first choice. No. Please be a Hello Kitty or something. Oh, what is this madness he's got? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. You know, you're about to fly a biplane at like the Red wait, Baron. Wait, 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 <laughs> boys, I kid you not, right? I kid you not. Da, 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 da. I started swimming on my days off, right? These were the goggles I bought. They were terrible. I rocked up. They come out of the <laughs> No, oh, no, they are not. Like an aviator. <laughs> it kind of matches the oh, helmet. Look how big it makes me head look. This one. Look like Megamind. Look like fucking Megamind. Boys, Freddie's been, Freddie's been, other Freddie, as in producer's been bugging me for about half an hour, being like, we promised to let Bernsey, the Burns Master Honestly, General, go. My liver he doesn't want to go. My liver is <laughs> He doesn't want to go. He wants to be here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Freddie, you're obviously you must be massively insulted not to be on the 30 man tour to Australia, right? You got some strong oh, words, oh, a strongly worded email for Eddie Jones. Oh, I've already sent him a video. Oh, no, you haven't, man. No, I was sat next to Chris Please Ashton. Oh, I was sat next to Chris Ashton on the bus back from after the game, and he said, I chatted about stuff, I don't know how we got onto it, but he said something about he had Eddie's number or something. 
And I said, I'll make, send him a video. And he did a video. I just went, Eddie, I'm available if you need me. He just replied. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I thought you were joking. Legend. Oh, wait, this is one of those moments where you bring something up and then you realise, fuck, I forgot about that. I remember <laughs> messaging you, sending a video message to Eddie Jones. There's the video. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I press that. Uh, I can't. You press, got press, it. Play, press, press. No, no, no press the video don't play. I took the picture on of Ashley's phone. All right. Uh, yeah. But yeah, basically, it's me telling him that I'm available, and he's just obviously just gone there, nah, mate. Mate, to be fair, I'll be honest with you. I would love to play for England boys. Of course, I would. Right? Let's not get too carried away with it. One drop goal, but at the same time, <laughs> the boys in now, mate. I'd rather be added to the red line in Great Bowden for a few more sherbets, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Too right. Too right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Straight, straight mate down the battle cruiser, boy. Right, exactly. Exactly. Uh, Bernsey, unbelievable, mate. I hope you have uh, I hope you carry it on, mate. Don't don't give up. Just keep going and don't stress about the missus. She'll understand. You're the legend Honestly. of Leicester. Honestly, I've I've got to, I've got to, I've got to say one thing, right? I take my hat off. Sorry. To no, I take my hat off. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> honestly, like, wow. like she's, no, you, you talk about her a lot and, you know, you've always said, like, how amazing she is and what a wonderful person she is and how understand she is. So, what an amazing, what, what an amazing lady. <laughs> right. Okay, for those, for, for those. Boy, hey, behind every great man, behind every great man is a, a great woman. <laughs> Um, I will see you, boys. <laughs> boys. I'm going to go have a beer. Oh, uh, enjoy. Enjoy, buddy. Fucking what a legend. Enjoy. Oh, mate. Well Drink done it up, big mate. fella. Oh, Cheers, lads. Amazing. Oh, speak to you all soon. Take it easy. Cheers, Freddie. Boy. Cheers, boys. <laughs> bye, mate. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Okay, that's <laughs> brilliant from Freddie. Just just quickly, Ryan, where, where are you? Just so everybody else can feel really shit about their lives because Max made us feel shit in Thailand. Now, where are you now? Yeah, well, that's the main, that is, this is the main bit. Remember last week when Max was sat in Thailand and I was in Glasgow, I just wanted to, to fire that one back out there. I've shown you already for the, for the people that can't see this beautiful ocean view, the beach down there, the British, Hi. the British Virgin Isles boys. I'll, I'll tell you what, I've landed on my feet, all thanks to the British Virgin Isles Rugby Football Club. Did you know there was such a thing, mate? <laughs> um, do you know what? Actually, something's just clicked. Do you know I said about trying to get and play for Fiji, like give up on Scotland if you're never going to play? I could play for the British Virgin Islands. I wonder if I became a resident if I stayed here long enough. I could just play for them. That's an international team. They're actually an international team. But yeah. I, love, I love your musings. I'm not going to run it by Bex or like at all ask the kids and pull them out of school. But I reckon, just let's just move to the BVIs. Yeah. I, honestly, I tell you. So yeah, big shout out to my old mate Jeff Kirk and Eureka. They've sorted me out over here. Incredible people, and uh, we got a big dinner on out on the boat on Thursday, and then a big dinner on Saturday for their uh, rugby club dinner. So oh boys, this is ridiculous out here. <laughs> Run us through the URC final that also took place uh, at the weekend. Ryan, you predicted the Stormers would win it, and they clinched it, overcoming a slow start with an 18-13 win over the Bulls. What, what do we think? They deserve champions? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think, um, like you said, they, they didn't start very well, did they? But they just, God, they've got some pace, haven't they? They've got some bloody good players and they were just relentless with it and stayed in the game. And you saw them pull away at the end. But um, I think they are. Like I've seen, like, we won't, I probably won't do it again. But I've had my URC team for God knows how long and there's a lot of Stormers players in there. Because they've just got better and better as the season's gone on. But fair play to them. Um, yeah, it was a good match. Did you watch it, Max? I watched. A, I only watched the extended highlights, but I thought the Bulls were going to go fly away with it. But yeah, they came back. Yeah, they managed to cling in and, and stay in that game. So fair play to them. Um, URC winners first time in the in the competition, and there they have it. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next year. Very interesting. Do you think you'll be more aware of? what South African teams now bring. So you'll be able to counter it better. I think the most interesting thing is obviously them being in the Champions Cup. Like, that's yeah, going to be fascinating to see. I, th I was sort of against it. And now I'm like, 
now I'm like, nice, it's going to be interesting. Throw them in there, see what happens. Why not? It's um, it's going to be pretty cool to see some teams go up against them, like the Premiership teams and stuff. I um, yeah, I can't wait because when they beat the Premiership teams, then I'll get less shit off Max. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'll just come back with we've just been salary capped out the wazoo, so that's fine. Oh, here we go. So no marquee <laughs> players. Yeah. Preempt your defence like five yeah, exactly. months ahead. I'm already ready, lads. I'm already armed. Uh, finally, let's quick word on England getting absolutely humiliated by by the Barbars, who were down to 14 men for like three quarters of the game, who have been. As we know, as Ryan sold us, as we've heard from Will Skelton and George Cruz, on the piss non-stop. I mean, destruction, 52-21. What, what the hell? It was, it, was, it, it, was, it was somewhat awkward, wasn't it? It got, it got weird. Like every time England had some pressure, <laughs> they turn it over and then Barbars would just do some ridiculous freak show highlight reel try. It was... They did what they said they were going to do. It was class. They did, but they, it did feel a bit different. They were sort of more test matchy, weren't they, at the beginning, the Barbars? You could tell there was like a, there was a very competitive agenda afoot. But um, yeah, man, it, there was some, yeah, some England boys are going to be, uh, that must have felt a bit lonely after that game. My God. What about Eddie Jones after coming out and being like, oh, you know, it's great to see you having a bit of yeah. fun? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Underneath, just like no. Steaming the seen, What is that? Uh, um, have you seen that Disney uh, film where they've got like the five different? Um, yes. Like, anger, sadness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That man it's leaves like the red button in his head, like okay, press <laughs> it. He's like, oh, it's great to see everyone here, a bit of fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the media all like, media all sat there like, is he? Is he joking? And it, you know, look at you guys, like, come on, smile, everyone, they have a bit of fun. <laughs> fuming inside you've just had 50 points put on you by the bar bars mate they've been on the piss all week like probably not as much as normal you reckon, because... I don't, yeah we were being told in some ways that it wasn't the a bar bars traditional tour but still I mean it's still well getting it okay, at 5am this... on Tuesday <laughs> like flying no, yeah, exactly. That's for what I'm another saying, night still, and... that's big but yeah, but listen, hold on. <laughs> Remember this. That was Will Skelton that told us that, who then maybe felt the pressure, thought, fuck, I'm blowing. I've been on the piss all <laughs> week. None of these I have. So here's my chance to get off the field. They're not going to sub me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Now I'm blowing. Oh. And Cruiser on flames. What a guy. He looked like he was blowing a bit, though. There was a few points I was looking at Cruiser. He was just like... Gas, but my God, he had a strong showing in the back hill. The disrespect at Twicket and the swan okay. song of George Cruz, his legacy <laughs> firmly established. Oh my God, how good is that? How good is that? He said he nearly cramped. How many nearly cramped? I was like, chef's kissing. I was just like, chef's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. My God. Oh, boy, how good. But that just, it doesn't. Doesn't it just go to show, right, that the England boys would have been training the week, knocking the pan in, like, so much pressure, so much it, stress. Bar bars, have a few beers, relax, enjoy yourselves, no pressure, go out and play. And realistically, if a team was going to pull away in the last 30, it's going to be the team that wasn't on the piss all week, isn't it? Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe we've solved it. Maybe we need to drink more and have a good time and coffee. <laughs> I remember a weekly sales pitch for drinking all of the time. Know, every time this guy could be a whiskey salesman of the highest renown. Oh wait, he is. <laughs> oh, um, there is there's, there's only so much. This has got to be like an exponential decline in performance after a certain amount of this like Hunter S. Thompson style of living, my friend. Yeah. Uh, maybe if you played every two weeks, played every two weeks, that yeah. and like then you could do that. You could but boy, is it? Yeah, look, Max, obviously, as an England fan, you must have still been happy to see the Barbards pounded. I just I just was like, this is this is a class game of code. I thought it was a great spectacle. I thought Carbonell was amazing. Damien Penno, unbelievable. Man, that guy's on flames, wasn't he? He was freakish. Do you see when Johnny May tried to round it? He's yeah, trying to he, run like 
He's trying yeah. to like use this outrageous gas and Pedro's like, nah, we're not having it here. So it today, <laughs> son, and he's just gunned him down. He's, he's run over the other defender to get to it. That's how much he was like, yeah, it's on, son. Oh, man, it was, a, man, there was so much to like about it. Um, I, would, it well, so I, I thought Marcus Smith did play well, though. I thought he, he, he was actually, he looked quite, um, quite exciting, quite electric. Um, Johnny Maiden looked too out of place for being out for so long, but yeah, the the set piece was battling dot com in, in a lot of a lot of dimensions, wasn't it? Like quick, like just just kind of frame as a fellow prop, like Will Collier. She had a great season, and then you know you gets hooked after twenty eight minutes. Uh, you know, in in a game like that, like what? I wasn't sure what happened there because I couldn't figure it out. I thought, like, it did look as if the England team was sort of, like, deflated, didn't it? Like, they were struggling to keep up with the pace of the game, which I found a bit strange. Maybe the camp was real tough, especially with those games where it's not like a full-on test match. I feel like there's more of a licence to really fly into fly into the coaching, uh, to, into the into the boys from the coaches, um, especially with so many untried, inexperienced guys who haven't been in that environment, haven't played against that, ca- that like, calibre of rugby against so many established like internationals in that Barbars team. So, but yeah, I, I didn't really see what Eddie saw with Will Colley. It might've been a work rate thing, but yeah, it's tough because he was straight on the bike when he came off. So I wasn't sure. I don't, I, I, I don't think it was tactical, but um, yeah, that's tough. And then Schickling got um, ended by Will Skelton anyway. So he had to come back on onto the field of play. But, what about uh, Big Willie hitting him and like grabbing hold of him, thinking, "Oh, yeah, quickly." Yeah, and the guy just called it out, like explained it perfectly. It's like, "Nah, too late." <laughs> yeah, bang, and then, "Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Come on, <laughs> you're fine." Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I know. Now, you do feel for some of those young boys, don't you? But I reckon again, is Eddie Jones? Is it like a big test? Has he flogged them a week and then put them out there to try and break them mentally to see if they're tough enough you know you hear stuff like this so yeah there'll be things like that going on but oh, you never see what's on the back or, yeah you never see what's going on in the, in, the, in the training field in the background but it was a beautiful thing to watch it really was yeah you big you big scots <laughs> you loved it did you yeah oh god well, it's the, 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 the back heel bit and you said it max like disrespect lol you know have you ever been in a situation where <laughs> There is that amount of showboating where you're like, oh, either you, they've given no, up I've or never, I'm going to beat the shit out of these lads. I've never seen anything like that before. Like I've never seen a lock just doing three, three kicks. One of them's a back heel. Nothing, nothing. I've never seen that kind of showboating before. But in a lot of ways, it's sort of the best game to do it, isn't it? That's what the Barbars is about. It's almost like you have a license to be that character. And like but it's all, do you, do you remember, it's it's often a thing that happens with guys that are retiring. And mm. George's George Cruz's last his last game, the Swan Song. They I've seen it loads in French rugby. They do it where they give someone that's retiring the last kick of the game for a laugh, you know. And yeah. if if players get annoyed about that, if grow up. I I you know I, mean? I yeah. like I love that's why that's you'd never see it in football, would you? You'd never see that in football nowadays in a professional football match. Like someone just being like, ah, go on then, let the goalie take the, take the penalty for a laugh. It just wouldn't happen. But keep <laughs> stuff like that in rugby. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Imagine if you did it, though, in just a, a standard, a standard yeah, rugby that's... game. Yeah. Bristol versus Gloucester. And I'm they're just... like, you're winning by 50 points. They're like, Max, go on, go and oh, take crack. the kick just to rub it in. We should do more of that. Why not? Really piss each other off. I did. If you have you ever seen the Carlos Spencer do it uh, when he does, it's again. It's when he's playing for the Blues, and it's in there. Who are their Who are their biggest rivals? The height. Uh, Crusaders. Crusaders, right? And he runs. He literally like runs the length of the field, and then gets over the try line and runs to the corner. The corner with Joe Rocco puts it down with Joe Rocco to basically be like uh, steps up, takes and takes and just slots the two. Yeah. And it's so fucking ball. How like, good. And then yeah, after that, I love that. on everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that, fuel, that, fuel, fuel. Uh, but no, I think, yeah, it's what you were saying about that, though, is right. With George Cruz's situation, like, established long-term England, like, international, 
last game it's a bar bars game i think it's just it's the right right place right time to be that cat absolutely but watching him was so funny do you see when um uh danny care made that break and he's just scrammed him and it's oh no no it's marcus smith i think he's just scrammed him on the break and then it's and then it turned into that carbonell kick i was like and then that was cruz as well forcing that turnover i was like he was having a hell of a game for a bloke who must have been so dusty <laughs> oh so oh, dusty man. so dusty Oh. oh, and then Knowles, do you see Jack Knoll bouncing? <laughs> Big Knolly at the centres, ran him up, like, ran straight at him, just folded him up like a T-shirt, felt for him, felt for him. But, um, yeah, and Knoll looked, Jack, Jack looked good other than that knock-on. I thought he looked, he, looked, he had some actual impetus. He, 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 he brought something off the bench at centre as well. I've never seen him play centre before. No, I haven't uh, Yeah. Um, but yeah. For that amazing try, who was the like the replacement like flanker who just gassed so Mate, hard? He's no what joke. Is... The, the, the Stade Francais number eight. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, freak show athlete. Moves like greased okay, wind. Makalu. Makalu. Makalu, mate. Oh, man, oh, he's unbelievable. God, okay. um, here, by the way, I didn't want to say it was, I didn't want to you know, put a dampener on everything with Burnsy and him drop, you know, getting that drop call, but did Freddie Stewart knock that ball on right at the end of the game? And then it got picked up. And then they that. picked and then they picked it. It shouldn't that have been a, an off um, a penalty, right? Yeah. So the kickoff went, right? This this can get clipped in somewhere else, I'm sure. But the kickoff went, they kicked off. And he comes up, he knocks it on, and then one of his players catches it in front. But I, nothing, nothing ever got said about it. And obviously it's too late for the Saris players to then like moan and Ref, because you look like an arsehole if they kick the ball off, everyone's celebrating and you're moaning at the ref. You don't want that. But wouldn't that have had more hype around it though by now? Wouldn't we have heard more about that? Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna maybe. Do some, I'll do some research. I want to have a well, look. To, to be fair, even if that's what they thought, fair play to the Saracens, like even, uh, you know, McCall and every, no one brought that up. They were quite. Gracious, yeah, maybe, maybe because just from us seeing it on TV, it just what definitely wasn't. I'm gonna quickly hey, you know, chuck it. Twitter. You know, whose reaction cracked me up the most was Steve Borthwick. Did you see it there? And, and yeah. mate, he was like so relieved. I felt I was like, there was no happiness, it was just like a like a huge weight was just lift off the man. I was like, wow, he would look like he was under some serious pressure. And the, like, you just see him there, just being like, just like. Solos, he's been absolutely expect no Petronas. He's sitting there, and then it just and then you can see him in the post match being like he's obviously a very happy man. But I just I've, I found it so interesting seeing seeing that you could see it so like palpably on his face and his body language. Sadly, that is all the time we've got left for this week. Thank you all for tuning in. Thanks to well, not Ryan because he's out having the time of his life in the BVIs, but <laughs> thank you to Max and Freddie Burns, the drop goal hero and just general legend all around. And just as a little tasty teaser, what have we got coming up next week, Ryan? Max, what have we got coming up next week? The Milk Challenge. <laughs> Guys, is it, a good, good, is it a good time to tell you that I'm actually lactose intolerant? Yeah, the so oat it's... milk tolerant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, I'll do it with oat milk. Uh, is that okay? I'm actually vegan. Right, Perfect. let's. This is. We need to wrap this up. Thank you all for listening. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>